Before setting off on a long journey, it is worth checking some parts of the vehicle. Their proper functioning will give us peace of mind and enable us to avoid costly repairs. This will also result in lower fuel consumption by up to 15%. Let's start with the tarpauling. First, check all the buckles. If it is not properly buckled, the tarpauling will become like a parachute. Wind can easily tear it away after a few meters. After all the buckles are checked, you need to go around and make sure that the tarpauling doesn't have any folds or splits. If there are any splits, they should be secured immediately with tape for example, and fixed as soon as possible. Otherwise, at higher speeds, the wind can tear the tire pauling along the entire length. You also need to remove water, snow or ice from the tire pauling. If there is heavy rain, it can accumulate as much water as a paddling pool. Such an amount of water cannot evaporate, and if there is a need to brake suddenly, it can fall down on your windscreen. The tarpauling can also split because of the weight of water and destroy the load. If it is winter and the water freezes, ice falling down the semi-trailer can kill the driver in the car behind you. If the semi-trailer is loaded, you can remove most of the water by braking suddenly a few times. Before coupling the semi-trailer, you need to check the fifth wheel carefully. Make sure it is well greased. If you are going to drive only the tractor, you have to remove extra grease because you can lose it along the way and this can lead to a serious accident. When pulling back under the semi-trailer, remember to lower the fifth wheel first. Lift it up only when you are sure it is all ready under the semi-trailer. Before you drive, always make sure that the mechanism is locked. Remember to check linking cables regularly. Any loosening of connections can result in a lack of lights or brakes in the semi-trailer. With a properly prepared and coupled set, you can safely hit the road.